Dear participants, welcome to this open education resource video series of planner chromatography. Here today we are dealing with steps in paper chromatographic analysis. There are the steps first sample preparation and application second development of chromatogram third one is visualization and fourth one interpretation of results mostly paper chromatography used for the qualitative purpose just to determine the presence or absence of the particular component or for identification purpose first step that is sample preparation and application so the preferably sample to be dissolved in volatile solvents like ethanol, acetone, chloroform so that when we apply the spots with the help of capillary onto the paper it will easily evaporate, the solvent will get evaporated and no diffusion of the sample and we will get the optimum size of spots that is from 3 to 8 mm. Second one, development of chromatogram. The development of chromatogram take place in a glass or glass line stainless steel chamber. The size depending upon the dimension of paper. So it may vary from a test tube to a large cabinet jar. The chamber must be kept sealed and saturated with the mobile fish solvents. As in previous video we seen, the nature of mobile fish is more polar as compared to stationary phase, the combinations of alcohols and water to be used as a mobile phase. So, a large amount of time or a more amount of time is required for the saturation of mobile phase into the chamber. So, the time required for chamber saturation is high in paper chromatographic analysis. What the next one, the paper spotted onto the paper the sample to be spotted on paper plus in chamber but not allow to contact means not the paper not deep into the mobile phase whereas the paper is allow okay to saturate with the mobile phase there are different ways by which the chromatogram to be run that is ascending in upward direction the mobile phase goes in downward descending that radial or linear horizontal spiral the next step that is visualization of spots so if the sample is colored there is no question of visualization it will uh, we can see with the help of naked eyes but as the sample is colorless then depending upon the nature of sample the derivatizing reagents to be preferred. Generally, if the compounds is amines or amino acids need hydrogen to be preferred for lipids, bromothymol blue, if the nature of the compound is acids, the indicators to be used for the visualization of spots. Food step that is the uh, interpretation of results so after development of chromatogram drawing then use of specific derivatizing agent the calculation of rf value to there rf value that is a retardation factor to be considered as the distance traveled by this rf value to be considered as a distance traveled by the particular substance divided by distance traveled by the solvent front. So here the comparison of RF value of sample with that of reference to be there and then the authentication of sample to be carried out with respect to the standard. Just have look for a video for the separation of photosynthetic pigments 
by paper chromatography. What the total time was somewhat around nine minutes. Uh, it's to make a faster for you. So the question for assessments. The solvent used to dissolve sample in paper chromatography are non-volatile, volatile, aqueous, third one, fourth one, combination of water with organic solvent. References for more detail you refer Remington for the stock. Thank you.